What is going on, my slow two? What is going on? We are live here in my building where I live. Um, today we'll be working from home. Got my little setup here. Got the ThinkPad Lenovo, or the Lenovo ThinkPad, and which is my work computer, work computer, and personal computer. Little MacBook Air, 2022. Um, a nice, I, have, I, have, I have a nice little docking station here. Got some ports for some extra, some extra peripherals. You see my connections here. Something for the internet, and I want to say that is a display port right there to my right. Yo, man, USB-C connection also. Yeah, just a little setup here. Get some work done. Um, just took a little break. Well, I'm on break right now. I'm going to take a little 15-minute break and get back on the computer. But I do want to talk about something real quick. And it's basically something I spoke about before on this channel. And it's about... Um, it's really for someone that's looking to um, jump into the IT support field, I'll say, that doesn't have much experience. And when I say experience, I'm really referring to your hard skills. So, you know something basic such as knowing the difference between TCP, UDP, um, what is subnetting, you know, or what's a subnet mass, what's, what is an octet, or a octet, excuse me, octet, excuse me, I'm saying that wrong, what's an octet, um, what's an IP address, you know, what's a NIC, NIC, what is that, stuff like this, right? Um, I'm, I'm still learning, obviously, but these are some of the basic things that you will kind of need to know when you're in IT support. And these are what you will call hard skills, right? Stuff that I just mentioned. And to be real with you, you probably don't need to even need to know about none of those things as your first IT job, IT support, tier one job, right? Help desk, basically. Help desk. You probably don't need to know anything like that, right? So... This is why I think, you know, it's, 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 maybe it's a good idea to start applying to IT support jobs without having so much experience. On top of that, you probably don't even need to have any certifications like me. Now, I'm working on getting some, but some of my first IT jobs, I had no certs, no CompTIA's. No CCNAs, nothing like that, right? And I was still able to land a job in tech. Now, the reason why I was able to land those jobs back then is because I had experience working in tech support, all right? So I did have skills in terms of, you know, problem solving, troubleshooting. So I did have skills like that at my prior jobs. But still, um, no certs, no certs. Believe it or not, there's some jobs out there that do not re that does not really require hard skills, certifications, maybe even a, a college degree. I say start applying. Go for it. You never know. Now, before we continue talking some more, my name is Ario Dejuiced from ariodejuiced.com. Um, sorry, that's my other YouTube channel. I keep saying that. My name is Ario DeJuice from Juicy Tech YouTube channel. Excuse me. <laughs> Yo, I have like several channels on YouTube that I'm running. Um, that channel I just mentioned is monetized. But this channel is called Juicy Tech YouTube channel. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, my God. It's 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 Monday. Forgive me. It's Monday and I have to uh, I have to go on break real soon, my hour break. But, yes, comment, like, and subscribe, share. Hit the bell notification. Do all those things if you enjoy the content. Obviously, we we'll love to have you. We we'll love to have you. And yeah, man. Um, hope you um, join and subscribe. And thank you to our good friends at Course Careers for sponsoring today's video and post, which is a online training program helping people land jobs in the tech space in IT. So, um, if you're looking to jump into this field, definitely very much recommend coursecareers.com um, if you're looking to earn that type of revenue between 50,000 to six figures plus I'm not saying you're going to earn six figures right off back nope 
but at least get your foot wet by at least starting a job paying between 50000 to at least 60000 It's possible. So yeah, more information about course careers down below, down there, down there, and everything else is down there also. I'm on, I'm on LinkedIn, I'm on YouTube, I'm on Instagram, TikTok, I'll leave all my socials also in the box below. Okay, once again, um, start applying, man. Start applying, you never know. You, you, you never know. Now, the, the, the worst someone can say to you is no. We found other candidates that meets the requirements for this role that, they're, that they have available. But I would just start applying anyway. And if you really want to just kind of, I guess, stand out and have something to show proof that you have the basic knowledge in IT support, take a course. CompTIA, I'm not being paid by them, but CompTIA is a really big one that most companies to this day are still seeing or using as, okay, you have this cert from CompTIA, that means you understand at least the basics by passing the A+. Go for it, you know? Again, I don't have any CompTIA certs yet, but this is my third IT job. No certs. None. Only cert I do have, I'm sorry, is the course careers cert from their, um, their IT course. That's why I promote it, because it works. It actually does work. Um, because of course it's getting really popular or the program I've had people, I've had interviewers, um, tell me, oh, you must know who Josh Matador is because you took the IT course from course careers. I've had this before. So people are familiar with course careers. It, it is, I'm not saying it's a big deal, but it's, it's, um, it is getting out there that it is a solid, um, program to help people very much understand not just IT but software engineering you know um, sales management of course support anywho um, yeah that's, that's that's my only course course careers and it, it has helped me you know not just with landing interviews then me landing the jobs but also helping me you know basically stand out by having the correct information on my LinkedIn my resume, of course, my cover letter. It works. But my whole point is I don't have any real certs. I'm sorry. I said that so wrong. Something like CompTIA, CCNA, like these are a lot, you know what I mean? These, have, these are bigger name certs or programs compared to course careers. And it's, it's true. It is what it is, right? I don't, I've never seen a, 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 an actual employer ask for a course careers course. Never seen a day in my life, right? I'm all seeing CompTIA, CCNAs. I'm all seeing that. Cisco and all that. It is what it is, right? This is what I see a lot. Or a college degree. Or CS degree. I see that more than course careers. Just being honest. Just being real. But back to my point. Start applying. Start applying. If you're new to IT support, help desk basically, go for it. Right now, I'm working from home. Like, I'm working from where I got a little Stanley Cup. Not being sponsored, but got my Stanley Cup. Got my laptops, making sure the tickets are being received and, you know, um, work, worked on, obviously. And yeah, man, just go for it. Go for it. Never know. Um, what was I going to say? I want to say something else. If you basically had a job in retail, if you worked in any job that you had to deal with customers, you know, clients or whatever, to me, that already is a skill, a soft skill. And believe it or not, that may be all you need to land a job in IT, IT help desk, I'll say, right? Um, it is basically you dealing with users, a customer, basically. Um, customer, which is, the, which is the employee or the users, the remote workers. Those who I call the customers, right? They put in the ticket. And my job is to go and assist, support whatever they're having the issues with. If it's in person, I have to have people skills to converse with that person to figure out what's the issue. And because I have people skills, I'm not awkward. I'm not making them feel awkward. I'm asking the right questions. I can hold a conversation. You know, um, it's, it's a good experience. 
It's a good experience. It's a feel-good experience amongst both parties. That's a skill, right? I'm not saying I'm, I'm, I'm some expert, but I know how to hold conversations, ask the right questions to get information to, to, to begin troubleshooting and fix the problem. That may be all you need to land a job in IT help desk, believe it or not. I'm not, I'm not even BSing you. That may be all you need compared to having the hard skills that I mentioned earlier. You know, explain how to find, you know, um, I, I, I don't know, how should I put it? You know, binary and, you know, IPv6. What's the difference between that and IP, IPv4? What does it even stand for? IT, I, I, IP, you know, like... These, these I know what it is, but a lot of time you may never ever have to use it. PowerShell, you know, maybe one day you have to use PowerShell. Active Directory, Azure, of course, Intune, Autopilot, all basic IT things, and these are hard skills. I know of it, but you probably don't even need it at this point. Now, of course, when you land that job in IT or help desk, you'll get you'll be exposed to these different te technologies and protocols and whatnot, then you start to learn on the job, basically. That's, that, that's a beautiful thing. But for the most part, just to kind of get your foot wet, start applying, man. You, you never know. You may not even need any certifications whatsoever. Just start applying because you already had a job in a restaurant, maybe McDonald's or maybe your server somewhere. These are people skills. These are people skills, right? If you worked at the mall, go for it. Go for it. Listen, let me get back to work. I have a few more things to do. I'm going to go to a break. I want my one hour break. Yeah, I'm here in my home. This is our conference area here. I saw a printer. Yeah, paper here also. No paper. No paper. Oh, we need some paper. But we got to fix that. All right. So, yeah, nice space. Got the bag over here with some other goods, other equipments. But besides that, let me knock out some more tickets. Hope you, have, hope you have a fantastic day. Happy Monday. Hope you got some value from this video. And it's always a pleasure to me just connecting with you to give you more information. But again, I'm on LinkedIn. I'm on TikTok. I'm pretty much on every platform there is. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll connect with you on those platforms if you like. If not, YouTube is fine. Peace out. Have a fantastic day. Hope you got some real juice or some good information from this video. Peace out.